good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I am the figure dude, and on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, I am going back and I'm finally completing this custom. I've wanted to do this for so long. I finally have the pieces. I finally have the decals. I'm going to be making my New Japan G1 Climax Kenny Omega. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures, dude. Okay, obviously, there is a lot of work to do here, but I wanted to give you just, like, the gist of what I'm going to do, and as far as the, like, torso mold, that is the torso mold I'm going to use. I might end up using a different skin tone, because I would like to give this Kenny double-jointed arms, but I don't know if I have him in the, have double-jointed arms in this skin tone, and really, I'm not, like, huge about the skin tone. I know Kenny, Kenny's a white dude, he's a little tan. But, you know, if I use the pale skin tone for my collection, I'm not going to be heartbroken about it. I have to paint the head scan because it's from that first wave of the first, literally the first wave of the first wave of AEW figures where they're super, super white. So I have to paint this head anyway, so I'm just going to match it with whatever pieces work the best. Um, I originally painted, so you can see this head, it's a great head scan. Um, but the hair piece is already off, so I had used, I painted, I made a custom, and it was okay, but I didn't, like, love it, so I'm going to paint, repaint the head, repaint the hair. These are road dog pants, and they were, he wore these, like, pants, I mean, kind of like this. They were, like, loose, this, loose, uh, leathery, leathery looking pants. Um, I don't know, they, they look kind of weird. Um, so I never really got around to making it, but this is what they look like. So he's got the kick pads. I'm going to get rid of this design. He's got like a bullet club design that says the elite. He's got um, kick pads. You can see kind of in here that say the cleaner and Kenny Omega. Um, but I loved his time in New Japan, that run he had at the end where he won the G1 Climax. He had his trilogy with Okada. Like I, I, I really, really, really enjoyed that. Like, I mean, I think most people that are like big wrestling fans did enjoy that. If you didn't enjoy that and you're a wrestling fan, I... I'm just confused. I'll just leave it at that. No arguments here. Um, but I have to find arms for him. I have to really, I have to perfect the uh, the formula here. But I'm really, really excited about this Kenny because I've wanted to do it for a long time. I knew that these were the pieces I was going to use. But like I said before, the Road Dog p Elites were hard to come by because there was only like one or two when I first, when this, when I first got this idea. So I knew I wasn't going to pay like 80 bucks to find that elite to make it. So I've been lucky enough with these legends where they all got clearance that I can finally do this. Is I, I hate to say that this Kenny Omega is a dream come true, but I am really, really pumped to do this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do um, everything I need to do. Fix up these tights, fix up this head scan fix the torso, find some arms, all that business, and I will be back with a hopefully sweet-looking G1 Climax Kenny Omega. All right, back with my G1 Climax 2016, I believe, Kenny Omega. Um, I've wanted to do this for so long. I, like I said, I knew I needed the road dog parts. Um, it's such a, like, weird unique attire um where he is like wearing tights but they're like most just like leather pants i don't know um i thought it was a cool look and i wanted to replicate it i just didn't think i had the pieces for a long time and these road dog pants i think work perfectly um the knee pads i think are integral to really topping it off because he did wear knee pads so like i just i i kind of just stretched them out a little bit over the road dog pants and they fit fine um, it didn't really present a problem. The only problem I had while making this was that I didn't have a shooting hand for Kenny Omega. Um, he, I used the tan skin tone, um, and I used some, oh, who did I get those arms from? Gosh. Now, oh, one of my road dogs. I, I acetoned, um, the tattoos off some extra road dog arms. 
and I did switch torsos from when I started. So I had the like bigger torso that like Big Cass has, um, Ric Flair figures have, which I think is where it's used mostly was, is with Ric Flair. So I switched to the like more ripped DDP torso. Um, Neville uses, the Neville figures uses, use this torso in a different skin tone. Um, and there's no shooting hand, I don't think, in this skin tone. So what I did was take an extra Jeff Hardy hand, because I have a billion of those, um, and I painted it. So um, after I got done painting the head, which I'm happy with how the head turned out, in pictures, it looks super dark. And it's, it's not, like, it turned out really well. It goes, like, it blends really well with the body. So this hand is just a normal hand, um, the like high five weird hand, and then the shooting hand. Um, and I know I think Kenny does it with one finger, but um, I had I used just use a Jeff Hardy hand to really to make it work. And um, again, I'm happy these are clear decals and they went on really well. Um, and I think I accidentally ordered the ones for the Jazz Words figure, so those have like a smaller. I mean, they just have a smaller butt. It's kind of weird. Um, they're like, it's, I don't know, it's just different. So like these were made, this decal was like a top half and a bottom half. So then the bottom half like was supposed to go down here. So I did have to like put those together and you can see the line right there. Um, it moved a little bit when I put it on, but, um, really it, it's, it's hard to tell it unless you're like looking for it. I got the feathers on the side and I couldn't find a good reference picture of exactly how those were. So I just had them like this. So they kind of look like they're falling. The only thing I could find was like, was there was for sure a small one right there. The knee pads, one of them like kind of has bubbles under it, which is kind of bothering me. I might put some more decal setter on it, soften it up. The boots turned out well. Say Kenny Omega and the cleaner on them. Um, this was the only painting I had to do was to paint the boots white. Um, and then the decal had like the black specks and the Omega and cleaner over it. And then um, he's got the gun because he's in the Bullet Club. He was the leader of the Bullet Club at the time. And Kenny got me into, um, like I, I've seen, I, I'd seen New Japan. I knew their top stars. I like, I knew who Tanahashi was. I knew who Okada was, but I never really watched. And then um, when Kenny and like after that first Wrestle Kingdom match he had I think with Okada I like I really was into it I had kind of started paying attention just because I'd, I'd heard a lot of talk about it on the internet and I was like big into watching I was watching everything I was watching everything WWE I was watching all of the New Japan stuff I could take in and I was really into it at the time and I still keep up with it I still watch but um the pandemic they had to shut things down for a long time and then I kind of stopped following so like, I have an idea of what's going on in New Japan, but I was watching big time um, around when Kenny was coming up, so it was pretty cool. I, I was excited to be able to finally add this to my collection properly. Um, as far as comparisons go, I have a couple of his Unrivaled figures. I have the Unrivaled 1, which is, I have the 1A or whatever, which has the messed up skin tone. And I like this figure, but the ankles on mine are complete crap. They're really loose. I like the jacket. Um... And I, I see the ankles suck. Um, I like the attire, but that pasty skin tone just really Fs it up. And I don't want to buy it again just to get a corrected torso and everything, especially as many Kenny Kenny's as they make. Um, and this is another, this might be an un, unmatched. They make so many that I forget which is which. I don't remember if this was unrivaled or unmatched, but that's another Kenny. And I love the Kenny figures that they've done. And actually, now that I look at it, I think I don't think it's just because it's leaning, but that one A Kenny looks bigger. I think it is taller. It's it's a cool looking figure. It's just um, they they had some stuff to work through in that first set. So I think those three look good together. And then uh, of course Okada, my custom Okada. I think those look well, look good together. Um, they'll definitely be on the shelf next to each other. Their series of matches. Um, Especially if you ask old Uncle Dave, Uncle Dave Meltzer, the greatest matches that ever happened in the history of wrestling in the history of the universe ever, which uh, to each their own. I loved them. I thought they were good, but I'm not going to give my star rating on those today. That is all I'm going to have for Work in Progress Wednesday. As always, like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. And remember, you can't buy happiness.
but you can buy figures. Figure Dude out.